Our next contestant, Chit Wynn, from the College of Asia and the Pacific, will tell us more in his talk entitled The Politics of Co-optation in Myanmar. Can you imagine Tony Abbott and Clive Palmer sharing a bunk bed in a dormitory? <laughs> would Tony be annoyed by Clive's snoring? Or would Clive be irritated by Tony's early morning walkout? <laughs> well, there is a place on earth where parliamentarians do live in dormitories. Let me take you to Naypyidaw the new capital of Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. In 2010, after two decades of rule, the military decided to transform itself into a civilian government. But the parliament it created, it's overwhelmed by pro-military party, and ethnic minorities are co-opted into the parliament to create the appearance of diversity and legitimacy while containing them in dormitories. Co-optation is an effective strategy to maintain <coughs> political order. So what is co-optation in simple language? It means making your opponent part of your group. Let's see an example. How does Australia co-opt its neighbors? Well, by giving de developing assistance such as scholarship at the universities, <laughs> isn't it? But cooperation is not that simple in Myanmar. These colorful mannequins in the parliament in Myanmar represent over 100 ethnic nationalities. The ruling party wants to be silent like these mannequins. But can they do that? My research looks at how ethnic parties try to respond to the cooperation strategy. During my field work, I spent time with MPs, observed their work, and sometimes enjoyed sobering midnight interviews in their dorm and observed how they tried to manipulate the ruling party. My research argues that ethnic parties are able not only to divert the cooperation strategy for their self-interest, but also for reform, not by confronting, but by building trust. Interestingly, sharing dorm with the ruling party proved to be <coughs> effective because of the friendship network that it created. My research will be a new and important contribution to the country's democratic transition, proving that cooperation is not a bad idea at all. So Clive, if Tony wants to co-op you, let him sleep in your bunk beds. <laughs> and obviously, he'll have to be on top. 